Hi guys, it's uh, Diane from Art of Craft. Today I'm going to be talking about the the old jalopy die from Tim Holtz and showing you all the things that you can do with it. I find it lots of fun. Some people have said they don't quite know how to use it and how to get the look that I do um, when I use the die. So here goes. When you cut out this die, you're going to get um, these pieces. You're going to get the, the car cut out, you're going to get the um, fenders and bits and pieces and where the number plate goes um, and, and you need to apply those to the shape that you've cut out. You don't get this particular um, love cut out here, it's another one of Tim Holtz's words, movers and shapers dies, but I sometimes put it in the middle of the car when I'm adding it to a layout and put the different words in it because I think it's fun. I just wanted to show you that you can do it. You also get a little bit in the middle of this part of, of the die. Keep that bit because I actually like to use it. Okay, I'll show you some of the things we have done here. Um, this one here I've made for a, um, a book that, uh, that I've got uh, curtain call album and you can see where I have textured it. When you texture these um, cutouts they actually look better, they gives you more dimension, it's lots of fun. And on this one I've used the metal and I'll show you how I've done that. I've added an extra piece in where I wanted to grill for the um, front of the car and added some domes here just to uh, um, accentuate the wheels and watch parts I've used, a little one up here for like a hood ornament and a little one for the handle of the car and I've also put the clear acetate in behind and just use a bit of alcohol ink on it, silver, to give it that reflect. Uh, and in this particular one, you can dimensionalise behind it too and I've put on um, distressed embossing powder on the back there just to give it a, a road texture. Um, but there's lots of things you can do. Uh, this is another one. Um, again, this has been cut out of leather and you can use your all your different um, bits and pieces. This, these are seven gypsies cogs and to, if you're doing this on a big layout and make it look so much better. And remember the orientation of your, your, your um, car. If you want it to go this way, you're going to need to put your product on there facing upwards. And if you want, I mean you can turn it over and, and, and change the orientation that way but often more often than not I'm actually cutting my extra pieces out of metal so I need them to go the same way so I'm very conscious that I need to cut um, them out uh, with the, the metal side that I want facing up and again you can see that reflect in there um, where I've put the alcohol ink on behind and used alcohol ink around the edges um, and with the sanding of the metal it brings it up really well. So you only need to, when you're using metal, you only need to actually cut out the car itself and then leave the bottom pieces um, and do them out of your scrap metal that you've used. And you can see that where I've done it here. There's another way of doing these cars. Um, this one's I've cut out of leather and I've used in the wheel arches, instead of using those little pieces um, that you saw originally that are a part of the die. I've just used some Prima bling in there um, and it just it, it's just fun and this I always back my metal before I cut it out and so therefore it's got a sticky surface to it and it's easy to put down and I've showed you before how to do that if you've got bits of metal and just applying um, your sticky tape which is humongo tape on 10 second studio metal the black's a great colour to use, but I'll just give you a quick demo of that, how to put this on there so that you don't end up with bubbles and put this down. It doesn't matter which side's got the sticky tape on it. Get your roller. Make sure your roller's up the right way and roll it down. Pull this out as you go along. I think that very straight. But that doesn't matter either because you can just trim it off. And then you have your sticky tape on your metal before you cut out your pieces. This makes it a lot easier when it comes to sticking these pieces down onto whatever car 
yeah, that you're making. And remember, you can use words in these, which is the reason why I put this little um, Making Memories metal piece here. So you can actually use the card to deliver your message, uh, which is lovely, because you can put Happy Birthday on it. You can make them into wedding cards and make them into so many different things, and it's so much fun. Now, back to this metal. To get um, the embossing in there, I just usually run it through one of the, my folders. One of my favourite ones to use, um, which I use for a lot of things, in the texture fades of Tim Holtz, it's the collage and the notebook set. I use this all the time for journaling, use this all the time for texturing and a lot of uses. Um, it's just one of my go-to texture fades. In this case, I just run the metal through here, um, put it put it in, emboss it, and then I cut out those, the fender, etc. On the, on the little car, on jalopy, um, so I can apply it later. So that's a no-brainer, easy thing to do, lots of fun, sand it off, stick it on there. Um, the other thing I like to do is to put windows in it. You know, you can, a great idea is actually to put a scene back there so you can put words back there so you're not looking through the car at a page. Um, you can put, like, cut out some bits and pieces so that it actually shows that there's something in behind it that's um, part of the scene or if you've got a scene back there um, you can um, uh, just apply this over the top and you'll be able to see through those windows and get that this vehicle is travelling through some scenery. But I lo love putting um, acetate on the back of them and it's really easy to apply to them. Um, you just this is some wonder tape, and they have it in these really, really small sizes, which is great for your laces uh, when you're putting lace and ribbon and trim on different um, projects. And I just apply a little bit of it that hasn't been stuck down yet to the backs. So just apply it back there. You don't need to have heaps of it, this stuff's so strong, it just holds. And then peel it off, which is one of my favourite things not to do, because I never, ha I don't have fingernails, which is never good. Get that up. Get that off, yes. No, yes, no, yes. Got it. I envy you girls with fingernails. I can never keep mine that long. I always have ink and mess all over them, and when I try the acrylic nails, everything gets stuck to them. So I have decided that they're not for me. There we go. And you just stick it on there. Just make sure you cut it to the size so it doesn't show. Stick it back there. It's great too because it gives a firmness to the, the vehicle. It makes it, you know, appear nice and firm. And then you get your alcohol ink, shake it up. And uh, just apply a little bit. You can do it with your finger, think about where, you can think about how, where the sun's going to shine through and all sorts of things, but I just usually scribble it on there. I also use it to, um, and what that does is it gives you that reflect, I don't know whether that's really visible to you, but there's a reflect there. Um, and it gives you that look that you're looking into windows. I also use it around the edges too, because that's that can be fun around the edges of here to make it look like the sun's shining on there. Um, if you get it in the wrong place or you use a bit too much of it, it's fine. You can just use a little bit of your alcohol ink blending solution and take it off. Just 
take it off to how you like it. So don't be afraid to spread it round a bit. Okay, cool. I have to mention that when this die cuts out, there's actually indentation, so it actually show it gives you an idea of exactly where the pieces should go. Um, I don't know whether you can see on this one, but there is. It comes out on the die, and you can see indentations where these pieces. If you get a bit confused about where they will go, so that one would go about there, and you just stick it down because it shows you. And this one would go like that, the shape's perfectly in there, and the same with these. Um, the only bit that confuses me is the little number plate sometimes, or sometimes I have it going up, and sometimes I have it going down, and it's a piece like this, um, just depending on my mood. And um, I'm sure uh, Tim will tell us which way it's supposed to go. So you have these pieces here, I like to get this piece that's actually in the middle of... Um, I don't even know what this piece is. I assumed it was a wheel, but I've heard some people call it a dent, but I assumed it would be a wheel. Um, and when, So you can see the, the markings there where this has got to go down. So we'll pop that on. There. But this little piece here, I actually like to keep, and I like putting it on the end here and pretending it, that it's um, the back bumper, uh, like the bumper bar, or I don't think they had toe balls in those days. And these bits would normally go um, onto here and onto here, but I just decided on this particular one I'd bling it up. So you could put a little handle on here. What is something that's really great to do that with is you can get these little um, time pieces. You get lots and lots of bits of watch parts, and they have also have um, all sorts of things here that look great on these cards. The other one that I really like to thing I like to do is I cut an extra piece, this extra piece, in various different sizes depending on um, how big I want it to be, because I like to put a grill here. And you can see that on this particular one here. And sometimes I've usually cut this out of the metal and um, I, so it's sticky on the back. So when I put it up there, sometimes I put my hood or just stick my hood ornament down at the same time. If you get it a bit long, just trim it a little, put it in there. So that gives me that that grill piece and then I can put um, this along and um, depending on if I've made it long enough I just pop this along there up or down depending on what will, um, my look at the time uh, and then I get my trusty sander and you could do this before of course sand it to highlight those bits texturize this. This one being cut out of leather it's already got a bit of texture. Uh, you can use um, your rubs to also highlight where you'd like the light to fall on it. Um, there's so many different things you can do with these dies. You can get really cute fun looks just by adding extras, adding little cogs, um, putting your brads through and doing your layouts, of course, then you can really go to town. Um, if I hadn't, if I could have decided not to put that on there, in which case I would have just popped that in there. But it looks okay with it in there as well. Sanded that up, and that's an, another another vehicle done. Fun thing to do is bling them. I love blinging them. Um, this looks great. You can make yourself a card or. A, do a layout with the Liberace coming out of me. I uh, went to a museum once where I saw some of his 
vehicles and things he owned and he's very very much after the style and it looks gorgeous for that i've actually used um some prima bling it's actually from this set i've just turned it up the other way and uh, put it over the vehicle used a little gold alcohol ink through there i've sprayed you probably can't see the glimmer on it it's got a nice sheen to it i've um used the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is the iridescent gold, a favourite of mine, obviously, because you can see how much I've used. And it gives it a nice, a really nice gleam. I did this when I wanted to make a wedding car, because a wedding car looks great, and you can put your ribbons and your lace on it, and it, it, it applies to um, lots of situations when you're using the dye. I've also used a little bit of gold alcohol ink on the windows back there, um, just to, to make it all toner and make it look fun. And, so that's a lot of fun. If you do the dye as um, is shown on the packet, it actually just it looks great too. You can do lots of things to texture it, but if you do it just like that, it looks great using um, your coordination papers. We just sand the edges, cut out all your bits, sand the edges up. Uh, you can just actually that's not very good for this one. This is actual coordinations sandpaper um, and this is their block. It has Velcro on two sides and it's great. It, it does this coordinations paper perfectly. It's a great one to use. And you can just sand around the edges. Texture it through the middle a little if that's what you want to do. And then just apply your pieces. So, sanding them at the same time, but the marks are there for you to, to follow. Put your bits on, you can put the windows on again. Oh, I better put that and follow my own marks. There we go. Um, the big one in the front. Little one back there. Put you can, like I said, you can put brads through there, um, put a hood ornament on there. Uh, I probably still get a piece of um, the coordination, so I think I had a piece here somewhere, and sand it up to do that bit through there that isn't on the die, just because I like it. Just adds a little something, a little dimension to it, but you get the idea. You can also run your coordinations paper through your folders again to texture them all up. It looks great. It's just such a fun thing to do. You can stamp these dies. A fun thing I like to do. And you can see a little bit of it on here. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. I'll adjust you. Um, where I've actually textured in behind here using stamps. The way to do that is to, this is one of my favourite um, stamp sets here, again because the texture's on it, it's Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous, this is, um, it's called Slight Alterations, I just love the way they come up and I can change things with them. Like on this one, in, for instance, we can get some. I like to use the archival link in the different colours.
will stick this down and also put this gloss medium on here at the same time. This will change the look of it completely. To give that glossy effect, this is uh, Claudine Helmick's multi-medium gloss. You can actually do the, exactly the same thing with your um, matte medium if you just want to bring out the the colours in the leather. you actually got to see of that because my camera stopped recording but here are all the finished old jalopies you can of course make these very feminine but my taste don't tend towards those styles and you can see I've made them out of um, paper and out of leather and a coordinations card and used lots of textures on them using all the products we have available to us Thank you very much for watching.